everybody. This is Mrs. Zimmerman and we I wanted to do a virtual tour for you guys because we usually have sixth grade come over to the high school and get a tour and and check things out and so I'm gonna go live and give you a tour of the high school and talk to you a little bit about what it's like uh, coming into seventh grade at Crookston High School so let's take a tour So here we're walking in to the front door of the high school where you will come in most days to go to class. And there'll be some more, if your friend you know wasn't able to join this video today, then you'll be able to share it with them or ask your teacher, sixth grade teacher about um, where you can get the video, it's on our Crookston Public Schools Facebook page. So this is our commons, okay? This is where we have lunch. This is where a lot of you uh, will maybe ha will have breakfast or hang out in the morning, okay? And we are going to the left when you walk in the door. So we're gonna start with our auditorium. So maybe some of you have been here before for a play or a banquet or an awards, but this is our auditorium. So this is also where we have music, uh, orchestra, band, and choir. They also have class in here throughout the school year. They trade who has class on the stage, but this is our auditorium. So as you get into high school, not as a seventh or eighth grader, but into high school, you are able to uh, join one act or three act theater or drama, and that is where uh, your performances will be. So here we're walking down the hallway again, and this is a cool mural, one of our class of 2018 put together. So all the names on the balloons are the students in that class. So we're walking down the hallway to the music wing. So when you are at the high school, you have the opportunity to be in choir, band, or orchestra, and or orchestra. You can be in all three, two, or one of those item, one of those classes. So this is one of the music classes, classrooms, okay? Here we are, and you may know, or you may not, might be news to you, but our music, uh, orchestra, band, and choir travel to Florida every four years, and they uh, perform at Disney World. So this is uh, Miss Ellis's office. She's orchestra. This is uh, Miss Fady is choir. Hey everybody and this is mr torgerson's office band so now we'll go into the band room okay this is our band room so again every four years uh, the music classes get to take a trip to florida fly an airplane and they get to perform at disney world in orlando florida so if that's something that you are interested in um, you've probably if you're in musics you've probably already heard about that um, but if you haven't or you're not in music and you want to be you definitely can join you can always join music and work on your you know fundraising to get to that trip. So as we walk, so way down there, okay, that's where I came in the school. And right over here is where we went into the music room. So now we're gonna go down this. And now I'll take you into the gym. So this is our gym, okay? So you will all, at seventh grade, you will have Fayette. So as you have Fayed, you'll be in this gym. Maybe you've been here for a basketball game or a volleyball game, but uh, we got nice new mats over there that say Crookston Pirates. Okay, this, the floor is nice and shiny. 
So that's where we have gym and uh, your athletics. So also, we have a weight room. Okay, we have, this might be part of, this might be part of your practices once you join athletics. Okay, so when we're talking about athletics for activities, extracurriculars, you have the option to be in uh, for, there's football, football, tennis, softball, volleyball, basketball, but there are lots of different, and one of the things you wanna make sure that you do, and I will to your families, okay, next week, but you're gonna to wanna to make sure you come to the PAC meeting, but I'm just showing you here, okay, out here, that's our tech building, so in seventh grade and eighth grade, you have tech with Miss Bull, and down this hallway, okay, we have a shop class here for woods, but this class is when you're in ninth grade and higher, okay? Outside the tech wing, Miss Bowles class, that's also um, like woodworking. You create different projects there. And as we go down this hallway, we have a, a metals classroom. Sorry, I didn't get 10th, 11th, and 12th grade, you can take those classes, learn how to welding, work on small in. We also have a class called Pirate's Cove, which is in there, Miss Bull teaches it. In, in Pirate's Cove, you can learn how to screen print, making t-shirts, and how to do graphics. This is Mr. Stegman's, so these are high school um, arts and industrial tech classes. Mr. Stegman's art class, that'd be in ninth grade or higher. So here's where everybody is working. So we get away from our hard workers over there. Okay. Taking, uh, they're doing a lot of work in here, cleaning up the school right now. So this is our, this is where we do lunch. So unfortunately you're not here, but if you were here, we would have had you have lunch with us. You go in this door and then you come out the other side over there. This is the deli option that will be open for you too outside of your lunch meal that you can get. Uh, sometimes there's smoothies or cookies, uh, things like that. Okay, so we're back in the commons. That's the entry that we came in. Now we're coming down here. We're gonna go down this hallway. This hallway is mostly just seventh and eighth grade, okay? So you'll be, this is where a lot of your Time will be spent. So we have some lockers right here. This is the counseling office. This is where my office is. Okay. This is where my office space is at. There's some space in here. Mr. Rascott, our um, school resource officer, he's here. Mrs. Carlson, a school psychologist. We have mental health office. So this counseling office is for if you need anything for academics or social emotional support, okay, that's, you can always come to the counseling office. Uh, we have restrooms down this hallway. This is another entrance. You may be using this entrance as well to come into the building in the morning. Okay, now we're into your space. So these are our kind of pods, if you will. Okay, it's kind of a square space and you have a few of your classes will be here. So this is Miss Soli's room and she teaches seventh grade social studies. So this is her class, classroom, and this is where you'll have social studies. Now over here, next door to her is Mr. Kofed's room and he teaches seventh grade math. Okay. So some of you maybe if you have older siblings, you have seen our building before or been here before, but even if you have siblings, it's still your first time. So it can feel a little nerve wracking and feel different. And this is Mrs. Wagner's room. She teaches seventh grade uh, English. 
So you have English in this classroom. And then Miss K, her classroom is in the middle there. Okay, sometimes we have this workspace. So in the morning you can do on sit, work on homework out here or maybe hang out with your friends. Just across from the pod is our media center and they're doing a lot of work in here. So it's kind of full, but working on a lot of the tech items. But here's one of our computer labs, okay. And then we have the center of the media center is the library with all the books. And I will show you there's another computer lab over there, which we'll get to. And that is where you will have your computer class. So you might have lockers down this hallway here or even down at the end. So I, we use this bulletin board as well for, you know, announcements or things going on, things that you can do. So be sure to check that. Um, all right, now we're to the facts classroom. So you each will have one quarter of facts, which I'm sorry, I didn't get that door open for us. And facts is family and consumer science. That's where you learn a variety of different things. Okay, could be sewing, cooking, learning how to work with others, family, relations, lots of different things. This is Mrs. Dufo's classroom. This is art, okay, there's some pieces of art up there that they were working on before we all left. And then this is Mrs. Hansen's room, okay, for science. Some of you will have Mrs. Hansen. Um, there will be some of you that will have uh, Mr. Hansen. Okay, so that's their classroom. So again, way down there, okay, that is our lunchroom where the gym was, where the counseling office is. So as we keep going, we're going to take a left here and I'll show you the other computer labs. So when you have computer class, um, you will have computer class over here in this computer lab. Very similar to the one that I showed you earlier. This will be your computer classroom. Okay, we do have a spot we call the greenhouse here. Okay, the we have four science classrooms on each side or two on each side of this space. Then we actually do have some plants back there. Too. That's why we call it the greenhouse space. So now I'm to the other side of the hallway, other side of the school. So way down there is where I came in the building. And over there is where I came from, from Mrs. Hansen's science room. This hallway is really more for ninth through 11th or 12th grade. Okay, but I'm gonna give you a tour, let you know where things are. So down here we have a couple science classrooms. Okay, uh, Mr. Black is in that room. He teaches chemistry and anatomy. This is Mr. Hansen's room. So he teaches biology and advanced biology. He might be your science teacher as well. We have an ALC class. We have computer class for ninth through 12th grade. That's their computer room. Lots of questions you might have about coming to the high school. Uh, we do have a bell schedule. You do have five minutes between each class to get to your next class, okay? Here is another pod on the high school side of things. So we have um, upper grades uh, math here and math over there. Then we have English, Miss Fisher's classroom in the middle for resource. And then Miss Adrian is over here. Miss Adrian also does teach eighth grade math. So you might have her when you get older. Like I said, we have five minutes between each class. So you have plenty of time to get from one class to the next. Okay, here's our 
next pod for the high school. So we have um, 10th grade and up English with Miss Stegman here. We have Spanish class with Miss Christensen. Miss um, Ozaki is a resource teacher. Mrs. Tomford teaches 11th and 12th grade social studies. And Mr. Zimmerman teaches 10th through 12th grade social studies as well. So that is a basic tour of our school. Now we're on the other side. There's more restrooms over here and we're coming up around to the main office. So we'll show you, show you the office from the window because I think they're busy with people in there, but here's the main office, okay? This is where um, Principal Bubna's office is. Mr. Torgerson will be the Dean of, uh, or Assistant Principal. And we are excited to have you come join us in the fall, in September. And as I mentioned before, I will send out information about our seventh grade orientation, uh, which is September 2nd from four to seven. And I'll send a flyer out for that, but I will also post it on the Crookston Public Schools website. We will send it to KROX and the Crookston Times to post as well. We'll send it out through School Messenger. Um, the other thing to get ready for or pay attention to is if you're wanting to join athletics or activities here at Crookston High School in the fall as a seventh grader, uh, we have a parent athlete coach meeting, usually the first Monday in August. Um, and practices usually start around August 12th, wherever that Monday is. So something to note is if you play athletics, you do need to have a sports physical. Okay, so that's something you should try to get in July. So you have it ready to go for practices in August, in the middle of August, because you cannot practice without that sports physical. We will send out more information regarding those too. And uh, we have other activities than just athletics. We have a knowledge bowl team. We have junior high student council. We have a builders club. That's a service learning group. Um, we, you have the music opportunities with choir, band, and orchestra, and there's also speech that you can be a part of. Uh, so we have quite a few different things that you can get involved in here at the high school, and we are looking forward to having you join us in the fall, and make sure that you and your family are checking your communications from the school so you are in the know about the things that are going on and what you need to know for the fall. So. Hope you enjoyed the tour. Have a great day.